Hi, my name's Sid Holmes, and I'm here to talk about my experiences studying journalism at Cramer's College. I decided to do journalism because my aunt, who's a newspaper reporter herself, advised me to do it, and I heard all about how good the Cramer's course was from my cousin, who'd been a student on it. On the first day of the course, we did some reporting exercises, which I just couldn't get my head around. How do you write in fifty words about someone getting stuck on a roof and having to be lifted off by helicopter? But that was what I had to try and do. Another group had to do the same thing about someone being stuck in a tree and rescued by boat. We also met someone called Lisa on the first day. She works on a local paper and gave us some very informative talks throughout the course on what life is really like as a journalist. She's an assistant editor. Every newspaper section has one. She started off in the fashion section as a junior reporter, but is now in sports and enjoying that more. Her aim is to run the news section one day. Our main tutor on the course, Jim Tyler, who did most of the teaching, was great. I was particularly impressed to find out that not only was he an experienced journalist, but also an accomplished painter, who'd had his work in quite a few local exhibitions, and he'd actually written a book too. About the life of a singer who's well known internationally, but is actually originally from our area. Jim asked us to come up with ideas for articles, and then we all discussed them as a group. Someone mentioned this guy who makes watches and sells them online. That reminded me I'd heard about a retired teacher who'd taken up making violins. He doesn't sell them, but lends them to talented schoolchildren. Jim said he thought that was a great idea. He said he'd recently written about a craftsman too, a man who makes shoes. So off I went to write my first article. I finished it in a day and emailed it to a few people, you know, newspapers, websites, and so on, as we've been told to do. Amazingly, one magazine got back to me just a week later and said they'd put it in their next issue. So a month later, my work was in print. Because you have to do lots of work experience on the course. We were each sent off to report on different council meetings in the town hall. Not exactly exciting, but good practice, I suppose. Some of the others had to write about the town park or even the shopping centre. I went to one about a community group's plans to make the museum more attractive to visitors. It would be great for the town if their proposals were adopted, so I actually enjoyed that. Although on the whole the course was fantastic. There were inevitably a few things that were less so. I mean, compared to learning all about photography, the typing lessons were pretty dull. I know they will come in useful though, so I suppose I shouldn't complain. The other students on the course were cool. We got on very well, and after lessons, we'd often meet up. If a few of us were around at lunchtime, we'd get together in the canteen. The food was pretty good, made with produce from the college garden. We'd discuss what we were working on, and that was a great help when I was stuck for inspiration. So now I'm doing a bit of freelance stuff and looking for a job. It's tough, and I've already been turned down for three jobs on news websites. I've got another interview next week, though, as a junior reporter for a radio station. It'd be amazing if I got that. So, have any of you got any questions? Now you will hear part two again. That is the end of part two.